Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. Today we're having steak. I'm going to be cooking up filet mignon. It is a tenderloin cut of beef and the most tender. You know guys, this is such a delicious dish. It costs a little bit more, but it's well worth it. We're going to first sear it on the skillet, then put it in the oven to finish it off. So let's get started. Seasonings you're going to need is some cayenne pepper, onion powder, some paprika, garlic powder, soy sauce, steak sauce, Worcestershire sauce, hot sauce, and ketchup. Guys, throw this away. You do not need all of this stuff to season the steak. If you love the great taste of beef, the only thing you need is good old-fashioned salt and pepper. That's the only thing that I season my steaks with, and I guarantee you, you don't need all that other stuff. This is going to give you a good crust on the outside of your steak that we all love. So let's go ahead and get started with the beef. Now first thing, I just want to take a brush and brush on some vegetable oil. Now I'm using canola oil. You can use either one. Try to stay away from olive oil because it has a very low smoke point and your skillet is going to be smoking hot. Now the reason I just brush the oil on my beef is because if I pour it in that skillet as hot as that skillet is, it's really going to smoke up my place and I really don't want that. So just take a brush and brush on your oil on all sides of your beef. Next we're going to season our filet with salt and pepper only. Just liberally spread that on both sides until you've got it well coated. This is really going to give us a great crust that we love on our steaks. Once your skillet is smoking hot, go ahead and set it in there, give it a good press to make good contact, and we're going to leave it down on this side for about two minutes. And after about two and a half minutes, guys, there you go. Look at that great crust we have going on our filet there. Just go ahead and flip it over sear the other side and after another couple minutes go ahead and start turning your fillet over onto its sides and sear each side for about a minute each and after your fillet is seared on all sides we're going to throw it in a 350 degree oven for about eight to ten minutes to finish off I like my steaks medium rare, and there you go guys, it's out of the oven, and we'll let it rest for about 10 minutes, and let's cut into it and see how we did. Look at that, perfectly medium rare, just the way I love it. Guys, this is such an easy recipe, I hope you give it a try. Serve it up with whatever sides you like, I'm having mashed taters and some asparagus, but if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Hope y'all come back soon, see y'all later guys. Bye-bye, y'all.